Today we're talking about the future of iPhones, imagined by Antonio De Rose. This is the concept that he created. He's a designer that creates a lot of very cool concepts. And this iPhone Fold looks pretty cool. Now yes. it's just a concept, but we thought we'd talk about it because it is very interesting. Now it's kind of a concept, kind of could be real because we do know Apple has filed a lot of patents towards a foldable device. First up, on the very front of the screen, before you fold it, Antonio DeRose kind of copied Samsung, I would say. He has that in-screen fingerprint sensor. Oh yes. Which is pretty good technology, but it essentially copies Samsung. Another thing to note about the front display is that it features a 6.6 .6 inch display, which is larger than the iPhone XS's Max that's already existing. So also on the front, it kind of went the same that we see on current models. It has that notch. Yes. Which there's a debate about whether it's actually needed or, or sorry, whether people like it or whether people don't like it. It has a notch, but what's interesting is within the notch, it not only has one selfie camera, but it actually has two or looks to be like it has two selfie cameras. Yeah, it probably features an ultra wide as well as the normal standard zoom that Apple always includes. But the cool thing about this phone is that it has two phones pretty much sandwiched into one because when you open it it's completely different when you open it you also have two cameras yes but no notch no so again antonio de rose kind of copied samsung where mm. he has that infinity o design yes. without any any notch it also has a very very large screen to body ratio like there's no bezels nathan you have a concern with the hinge well i think a lot of people have concerns with the hinge Right now, Samsung Galaxy Fold is the only foldable phone out there, and there are a lot of concerns with that. They're having issues. They actually pushed the release date back, mm -hmm. and this concept kind of looks a little bit worse than Samsung's Samsung Galaxy Folds. The concern I have with the screen itself is there is no gap like we see on the Samsung Fold, where it looks, it's kind of like that binder look. So when it's folded. There's like a wedge, yeah, when it's folded, but when you, with the iPhone Fold, it's completely flat. Yes. And that would basically mean that there has to be some sort of visible crease when you unfold it. And that would be pretty distracting, annoying, frustrating when you're using the device. Hmm. Now, Samsung already does have a crease even when it's folded like a binder. So it seems kind of impossible to avoid. Now, another thing cool about Apple's foldable screen is that it's actually made out of glass. Unlike Samsung's polymer screen, which is a plastic, this will make it more durable and look better. And resistant to, to scratches and indentation. Yes. Like also we've seen some issues with the Galaxy Fold mm -hmm. where people sometimes because of that little opening, phone or not phones, coins and keys are getting in there and causing indentation in the screen. I mean, who's putting a $2,000 phone in the same pocket as some coins or your keys? Some people do. That's just dumb. So also Church. with the hitch that we didn't say before is when you do fold it out, if you look on the back, the two screens don't actually come together, which leaves an opening so that potentially debris or dust or something like that could get in and impact the not only the, the hinge part, but also the phone itself and the screen. Yes, that is a possibility. Now, another cool thing with this phone is that with iOS 13, you're gonna be getting a lot of pro features, which we expect to be coming to the iPad Pro, but with this iPhone Fold, would be coming to that as well. First up, you have customized widgets. So you can yes. see this on the, the front facing screen. You okay. have kind of like a customized weather app and it shows the weather above on the home screen. And then when you unfold it, it kind of shows a bunch of other customized widgets. Mm, okay. So I'm assuming there'd be the same features where if you're using an app on the outside, you open it, the app will still be going on the inside. And that's kind of, yeah, you see that, but that's also a concern. Mm. That is gonna be a battery killer because from the renders and the images and concepts that we saw, when you do unfold it, it looks like both screens remain on. So that's gonna be a battery killer. Obviously, they're not. It, this is a concept, but they have to design it in a way that when you do open the fold, the front screen turns off. I'm sure, I'm sure it will. Hopefully, but the, the custom widgets that we have on the, when you, when you fold it out, it's kind of like the widget screen that you have on your current iPhone, where it shows like the weather, your suggested apps, your reminders, the yeah. music that you're listening to, that's kind of on the home screen already. Now, another cool thing about this concept is that because it folds, I saw someone, or I saw a render of it, half folded open and used like a laptop. Where so the, keyboard the keyboard was on one screen yes. and then the screen on the other. Yeah, was was an actual screen. I thought that was pretty cool. It seems cool, but I feel like that'd be very difficult to type on with your fingers. I mean, we already type on these keyboards as they are. But you don't put them flat on the ground. And another thing, 
because they have that camera bump on the back, you're gonna be typing, you're gonna have that rock. Mm, yes, that is true. But that brings me to the back of the phone, which has the triple lens camera, like we've seen, like on leaks leaked, and a lot of rumors that are speculating for the 2019 iPhone is gonna have this triple lens. Mm -hmm. So it'd be wise for Apple to, to continue to use that triple lens setup. Also, it has that, looks like a, two microphones what it was like a stereo system that you were saying yep two microphones on the back so it captures stereo audio another image we saw was tim cook presenting it which was kind of interesting i think that's pretty funny it's kind of Ant antonio de rose's way of saying this could be it and i'm sure that image will be leaked around the internet of tim cook fake announcing this foldable phone Oh, it's kind of funny. Cook. It just kind of like looks, shows his kind of creative aspect of it, of, of this fold. Makes it seem more real. It does. Now, also the packaging was kind of cool. Yeah. So it ships in a triangle box. Kind of like a Toblerone case. <laughs> Those are kind of cool. But it ships when it's like half folded, which is kind of a cool concept. I mean, that'd be an interesting way to do it. Mm -hmm. These were some pretty cool concepts of the iPhone Fold by Antonio DeRose. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. And subscribe if you're new.